Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin today by taking a moment to reflect on something profound time. We often think of time as linear, moving from past to present to future. But what if time God's time isn't like that at all? What if it's far more intelligent, more orchestrated than we ever imagined? What if his timing, the divine timing, is always perfect? You see, we live in a world where everything is happening fast. We want instant results, immediate gratification, and quick fixes. We crave control. But have you ever stopped to think about how much stress, anxiety, and fear this creates in our lives? We try to manipulate events, push outcomes, and force things to happen according to our own limited schedule. But when we live like this, we're trying to rush the natural, divine unfolding of things. And in that rush, we lose sight of something fundamental, God's timing. In life, we are often tied to our schedules, routines, and expectations, structuring everything around what we perceive as the right time for things to happen. But there is something far greater than our human concept of time, divine timing. This concept invites us to trust in a higher order that operates beyond the constraints of our limited linear understanding. God's timing, unlike ours, is not confined to clocks, calendars, or deadlines. It exists in a realm of intelligence that surpasses human comprehension, unfolding events in the exact sequence and moment they are meant to, not when we think they should. To understand this fully, we must first recognize that our perception of time is inherently narrow. We see the world through the lens of past, present, and future, and we often assume that success or progress must follow a certain timeline. Society conditions us to believe that by a certain age or after a certain effort, we should have achieved specific milestones, whether it be in relationships, career, or personal growth. However, these expectations are human constructs, and they often cause us unnecessary stress, disappointment, or feeling of failure when things don't unfold as we planned. What we fail to realize is that there is a higher intelligence at work orchestrating events with a precision that we may not immediately recognize. When we align with the understanding that God's timing is perfect, we begin to see that life isn't happening to us, it's happening for us. Every event, every experience, whether it feels like a step forward or a setback, is part of a divine sequence that is leading us toward our highest good. This perfect timing may not always be visible to us because we're limited by our current perspective. It's like looking at a single frame of a movie without seeing the entire story unfold. We may feel impatient when we don't get what we want when we expect it. We may question whether things will ever work out in our favor. But just because we cannot see how the future will unfold doesn't mean that nothing is happening. It means that, in ways we cannot yet understand, the universe is aligning circumstances, people, and opportunities in exactly the right way. Think of a gardener planting a seed. The seed doesn't sprout into a flower overnight. It goes through a process often hidden beneath the soil where it is nurtured, cultivated, and transformed until the perfect moment when it blossoms. Similarly, God's timing is like this process of growth. What seems like stagnation or delay is actually divine preparation. The roots are growing deeper, the soil is becoming richer, and the conditions are being perfectly aligned for something greater to emerge in your life. This is why trusting in God's timing is so essential. It reminds us that even when we don't understand why things are taking longer than we expected or why certain events haven't happened yet, there is a purpose behind the delay. Trusting divine timing brings peace because it removes the pressure of having to control every detail of our lives. Instead of forcing things to happen, we can surrender to the knowledge that everything will unfold as it should at the perfect moment in perfect harmony with our highest good. When we live in this awareness, we free ourselves from the anxiety of needing things to happen right now. We move from a mindset of lack to one of trust, knowing that the universe is infinitely intelligent and that God's timing is always, without fail, perfect. Patience is often misunderstood. Many people think of patience as a passive state of simply waiting for things to happen, but in reality, it is an active and powerful practice. Patience, in its truest form, is the ability to hold a clear vision of what you desire while simultaneously trusting that it will come to fruition in the right time and in the right way. It is not about sitting idly by, hoping that something will eventually happen. 
Rather, patience involves being fully engaged in the present moment, cultivating faith, and working diligently toward your goals with the belief that everything will unfold according to a higher plan. When we talk about patience, we must recognize the role of trust. Trust and patience are intertwined. To be patient means to trust in the process, to trust in God's timing, and to trust that the efforts we put in today will bear fruit tomorrow, even if we can't see immediate results. It's the recognition that while we may not have control over when something happens, we have the power to control how we show up during the waiting period. This means staying in alignment with our desires and staying committed to our purpose without becoming anxious or desperate for quick results. Patience requires us to hold a vision of our future while being deeply rooted in the present. This is where the active part of patience comes in. Being patient does not mean doing nothing. It means preparing ourselves mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for the fulfillment of our desires. It's like a farmer tending to crops. After planting seeds, the farmer doesn't just wait passively. He waters the crops, tends to the soil, and nurtures the environment so that when the time is right, the plants can grow and flourish. Similarly, we must nurture our goals and desires through consistent effort and self-belief, even when there are no immediate signs of success. In a world that often prioritizes instant gratification, practicing patience can feel challenging. We are conditioned to want things now, whether it's success, relationships, or personal growth. But patience allows us to move beyond this short-term mindset. It teaches us that true, lasting change takes time. The most significant transformations in our lives often happen gradually, and when we are patient, we allow the full process of growth and evolution to take place. Another essential aspect of patience is resilience. When things don't go according to our expected timeline, it's easy to become discouraged or give up. But patience teaches us to keep going, even when the results seem far off. It's a practice of resilience, where we maintain our commitment and enthusiasm despite setbacks, delays, or challenges. When we can cultivate this kind of patience, we become stronger, more grounded, and more capable of weathering the storms of life. Patience is also deeply connected to surrender. It involves releasing the need to control every outcome and trusting that a higher power is guiding the process. When we're patient, we're not forcing things to happen. Instead, we're aligning ourselves with the flow of the universe, allowing things to unfold as they are meant to. This doesn't mean that we stop taking action, but rather that we take inspired action from a place of trust, not fear or urgency. In essence, patience is a powerful spiritual tool that helps us stay aligned with our desires while trusting in the timing and wisdom of a higher plan. It's an active state of being that requires faith, resilience, and the ability to stay grounded in the present moment, knowing that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. By practicing patience, we open ourselves to receive the blessings that come when we are truly ready for them. Delays and waiting periods are often seen as negative, something to avoid or overcome as quickly as possible. In our fast-paced world, we've been conditioned to believe that immediate results are the only indicator of success. However, when viewed through the lens of divine timing, delays are not failures or roadblocks, but opportunities for growth, reflection, and transformation. Every pause or setback in life is a moment where something deeper is happening beneath the surface, preparing us for the next stage of our journey. One of the most important realizations we can have is that not all progress is visible. Just because we don't see immediate results doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Often the most significant growth occurs during periods of stillness. It's in these moments of waiting that we develop qualities like patience, resilience, and trust. These are essential traits that help us not only achieve our goals, but sustain them when they arrive. Imagine a seed planted in the soil. For a long time, it may seem like nothing is happening. There are no visible signs of growth above the surface, and from the outside, it might appear as though the seed is dormant. But underneath the soil, the seed is taking root. It's drawing nutrients from the earth, preparing to break through the surface and grow into something beautiful. 
Similarly, when we experience delays in our own lives, it's important to remember that the work is happening, even if we can't see it yet. God is preparing us, aligning circumstances, and ensuring that when the time comes, we are ready to receive the fullness of what we desire. Delays also serve as opportunities for reflection. They give us the space to step back and assess our path. Sometimes what we think we want isn't aligned with our highest good, and the delay provides us with the clarity to recognize that. Other times, delays help us see areas where we need to grow, whether it's emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. These pauses are not just moments of waiting, they are moments of preparation. We are being shaped and molded into the person we need to become to fully embrace what lies ahead. Furthermore, during delays, we are often being protected from things we may not yet be aware of. What may feel like a frustrating setback could, in reality, be God's way of ensuring that we avoid unnecessary pain, hardship, or failure. Sometimes we're not yet equipped to handle the very thing we're asking for, and a delay ensures that we grow into the capacity to receive and manage it properly. This is where trust comes into play. It requires faith to believe that the delay is for our benefit, even when it doesn't seem that way on the surface. Delays also give us time to build the internal strength needed for the challenges that lie ahead. When we rush through life, we often miss out on the deep inner work that strengthens our character. It's during the waiting periods that we learn persistence, humility, and gratitude. These traits become our foundation allowing us to navigate the complexities of success with grace and wisdom. Without this foundation, we might achieve our goals only to lose them because we weren't prepared to handle them. It's crucial to remember that every delay is part of a greater plan. We might not understand why things aren't happening on our timeline, but when we trust in God's timing, we realize that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. The delay is not a denial, it's a necessary part of the process that is ultimately working in our favor. We are not being left behind, we are being prepared for something far greater than we can imagine. In essence, delays are divine opportunities. They are periods of growth, reflection, and preparation, ensuring that we are fully ready to receive and sustain the blessings that are meant for us. Many of us have an innate desire to control the outcomes in our lives. We set goals, make plans, and expect things to unfold exactly as we envision. This drive to control can be useful to a certain extent. It helps us stay motivated and focused on our objectives. However, there comes a point when our need to control can become a hindrance. It causes frustration, anxiety, and even disappointment when things don't go according to plan. We try to push and force outcomes, but in doing so, we often overlook a fundamental truth. There is a divine intelligence guiding the process. When we trust in God's timing rather than our own, we open ourselves up to possibilities that are far beyond what we could orchestrate on our own. When we force outcomes, we are operating from a limited perspective. Our human minds are bound by time and space, and we often see only what is directly in front of us. We may set a timeline for when we think things should happen, but in reality, we don't have the full picture. We don't always know the intricate details of what is happening behind the scenes or how other events are aligning for our benefit. Trying to control everything restricts us from tapping into a greater wisdom, a higher plan that is designed specifically for our highest good. There is a profound shift that happens when we let go of the need to control and instead trust in divine timing. This doesn't mean we stop working toward our goals or stop taking action, rather. It means we let go of the anxiety and urgency surrounding the outcome. When we trust that God's timing is perfect, we understand that everything will unfold in its right time, even if it doesn't happen according to our own schedule. This trust brings a sense of peace and surrender. We release the pressure we put on ourselves to make things happen, and instead we focus on staying aligned with the vision of what we desire, while allowing the universe to take care of the details. When we align ourselves with God's timing, we step into a flow where things come together effortlessly. Opportunities, people, and circumstances begin to appear when we're truly ready for them. This is because divine timing is always working for our good, even if it doesn't always look like it from our limited point of view. Sometimes what we perceive as a delay or setback is actually a protection or a preparation for something greater. 
By trusting in God's timing, we open ourselves up to outcomes that are better than what we originally planned. It's important to recognize that trusting in divine timing doesn't mean being passive or giving up on our dreams. Rather, it's about surrendering the need to know exactly how and when things will happen. It's about taking inspired action, knowing that we're co-creating with a force much larger than ourselves. When we act from a place of trust rather than fear or control, we allow divine intelligence to guide us toward the best possible outcomes. We stop trying to force things to happen prematurely and instead cultivate the patience to let things unfold naturally. One of the key aspects of trusting in divine timing is letting go of fear. Fear often drives our need to control because we're afraid of the unknown, of failure, or of things not turning out the way we want. But when we trust that there is a greater plan at work, we can release that fear. We start to see that everything, even the challenges and setbacks, is part of the process of growth and transformation. Every experience, whether positive or negative, is preparing us for what's to come. Another benefit of releasing control is that it allows us to stay present. When we're constantly focused on future outcomes, we miss what's happening in the moment. We become so fixated on what we want to achieve that we overlook the beauty of the journey itself. Trusting in divine timing brings us back to the present, where we can fully engage with life as it is, knowing that everything is unfolding as it should. Trusting in God's timing also requires patience. Patience isn't about sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It's an active state of faith. It's holding on to the vision of what we desire while allowing space for it to manifest in its perfect time. Patience gives us the strength to endure challenges, knowing that the delay is not a denial, but a necessary part of the process. When we let go of the need to control outcomes and trust in divine timing, we align ourselves with a flow of grace and ease. We begin to understand that everything is happening in perfect order, even when it doesn't match our own timeline. By releasing control, we open ourselves up to greater possibilities and allow the universe to work on our behalf, guiding us toward the best possible outcomes. Maintaining faith during times of uncertainty is one of the greatest challenges we face in life. It's easy to have faith when things are going well, when our plans are unfolding as expected, when our efforts are rewarded with success, and when life seems to be aligned with our desires. But when things don't go according to plan, when we face delays, setbacks, or obstacles, our faith is tested. It is in these moments of uncertainty that true faith becomes essential. And this is where we often struggle the most. Uncertainty creates a sense of vulnerability. As human beings, we like to feel in control of our lives. We plan, prepare, and predict, trying to map out our future with as much certainty as possible. But life doesn't always cooperate with our plans. We encounter unexpected challenges, health issues, financial difficulties, relationship struggles, or career setbacks that disrupt the path we thought we were on. These experiences can shake our sense of security and cause us to question whether things will ever work out in our favor. In these moments, fear and doubt often creep in. We begin to worry about the future, wondering if we're on the right path or if things will ever improve. It's natural to feel this way, but this is precisely when faith becomes most important. Faith is not about having all the answers or knowing exactly how things will turn out. It's about trusting that, even in the midst of uncertainty, there is a higher plan at work. It's about believing that, despite the challenges we face, we are being guided towards something better, even if we can't see it yet. One of the key aspects of maintaining faith during uncertainty is surrender. Surrender doesn't mean giving up or becoming passive, rather. It's about releasing the need to control every detail of how things will unfold. It's recognizing that there is a limit to what we can predict and control, and that beyond those limits, we must trust in a higher power. When we surrender, we stop fighting against the current of life, and instead we allow ourselves to be carried by it. We trust that, even in times of difficulty, there is a purpose behind everything we experience, and that purpose is ultimately for our growth and benefit. Faith during uncertainty also requires patience, Patience is the ability to wait with a sense of peace, knowing that everything is happening in divine timing. It's not easy to remain patient when things seem to be taking longer than expected or when we're faced with setbacks. But patience allows us to stay grounded even when there's no immediate evidence that things are improving. It keeps us from making impulsive decisions out of fear and helps us to stay aligned with our long-term vision, trusting that the delay is part of a greater plan. Another crucial aspect of faith is resilience. 
Life will always present challenges and obstacles, but it's how we respond to them that matters. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to keep moving forward even when things seem uncertain. It's the strength to maintain our belief in a positive outcome, even when circumstances suggest otherwise. Faith fuels resilience, because when we trust in a higher purpose, we're less likely to be discouraged by temporary setbacks. We understand that challenges are not the end of the road, but rather opportunities for growth and learning. Faith also invites us to shift our focus from fear to possibility. When we face uncertainty, it's easy to become consumed by fear, fear, failure, failure, fear of the unknown, fear that things will never improve. But faith allows us to see beyond our fears. It opens us up to the possibility that something good is waiting on the other side of our challenges. Faith reminds us that even though we may not understand why things are happening the way they are, there is a purpose behind them. This shift in focus from fear to possibility can transform our experience of uncertainty. Instead of seeing it as something to dread, we can see it as an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to trust in the unfolding of life. In moments of uncertainty, it's also important to stay connected to our inner vision. Faith is not just a passive belief, it's an active practice of holding on to the vision of what we desire, even when the outer circumstances don't seem to support it. This requires a deep sense of trust in both ourselves and the divine. It's about believing that we are capable of overcoming challenges and that the universe is supporting us in ways we may not yet see. By staying connected to our inner vision, we can navigate uncertainty with a sense of purpose and direction, even when the path ahead is unclear. Faith during uncertainty is about trusting the process, surrendering control, and believing in a higher plan. It requires patience, resilience, and the ability to focus on possibility rather than fear. By maintaining faith, we are able to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength, knowing that everything is unfolding for our highest good, even when we cannot see the full picture. Uncertainty, though uncomfortable, becomes a powerful opportunity for growth and transformation when approached with faith. Letting go of control and surrendering to the flow of divine timing is one of the most liberating actions we can take in life. Many of us are accustomed to trying to control every aspect of our lives, whether it's our career, relationships, finances, or personal development. We meticulously plan, set goals, and map out how we think things should unfold. While having a clear vision and working toward our goals is important, the need to control every detail can often lead to unnecessary stress and frustration. True freedom comes from the ability to surrender to trust that there is a greater plan at work and to allow things to unfold naturally in their own time. Control often stems from a place of fear. We feel the need to control outcomes because we fear the unknown. We're afraid that if we don't manage every detail, things won't go the way we want them to. This fear can cause us to become overly attached to specific results and timelines. We might force things to happen before they're ready or push ourselves to meet deadlines that don't align with our emotional or spiritual needs. But in trying to control everything, we miss out on the natural flow of life, which often leads to greater outcomes than we could have planned ourselves. Surrendering to divine timing means releasing the need to control the outcome and trusting that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. This doesn't mean giving up on our dreams or becoming passive. Instead, it's about taking action from a place of trust and alignment rather than from a place of fear and desperation. It's about recognizing that there is a rhythm to life and when we align with that rhythm, things happen more effortlessly. When we surrender, we're not giving up our power, we're actually stepping into a deeper kind of power, the power that comes from being in tune with the flow of the universe. One of the most significant benefits of surrendering is the peace that it brings. When we let go of control, we stop trying to force things to happen before their time. We stop pushing against the current and allow ourselves to be carried by the flow of life. This creates a sense of ease and grace in everything we do. Instead of constantly striving and struggling, we begin to move through life with a sense of calm and trust. This inner peace allows us to remain open to new possibilities and opportunities that we might have missed if we were too focused on controlling specific outcomes. Surrendering also opens the door to unexpected blessings. When we let go of the need to control, we allow the universe to surprise us. Sometimes the things we desire come to us in ways we could never have imagined. By being open and flexible, we create space for miracles and synchronicities to happen. 
These unexpected blessings often come when we least expect them, and they are a reminder that there is a greater force at work, guiding us toward our highest good. When we surrender, we align ourselves with this greater force, and life begins to flow more effortlessly. It's important to remember that surrendering doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It's about taking inspired action action that is in alignment with our true desires and the flow of life. This type of action feels different from the frantic, fear-based actions that come from a need to control. Inspired action is guided by intuition, and it often leads to outcomes that are more fulfilling and aligned with our true purpose. When we surrender, we trust that we are being guided toward the right opportunities and that we don't have to force anything to happen. Another key aspect of surrendering is releasing attachment to specific outcomes. Often we become so attached to how we think things should turn out that we close ourselves off to other possibilities. When we release this attachment, we open ourselves to outcomes that are even better than what we had imagined. Sometimes the universe has a bigger plan for us than we have for ourselves, but we can't see it because we're too focused on our own narrow vision. By letting go of attachment, we allow ourselves to be open to the infinite possibilities that life has to offer. Surrendering to divine timing also helps us develop patience. Patience is a key component of surrender as it allows us to trust that things will happen when the time is right. It's about trusting that even when we can't see immediate results, everything is being orchestrated in the background for our highest good. Patience gives us the strength to stay grounded during times of uncertainty, knowing that the delay is not a denial but a necessary part of the process. Letting go of control and surrendering to the flow of divine timing is a powerful and liberating act. It allows us to move through life with greater ease, peace, and trust. By releasing our need to control outcomes, we open ourselves to unexpected blessings, inspired action, and the infinite possibilities that life has to offer. Surrendering is not about giving up, it's about stepping into the flow of life and trusting that everything is unfolding perfectly in its own time.